I would like to think everything is possible. I'd like to swim in the sea, whether it's the summer or winter. I'd like to see opportunities everywhere, adventures here and there. I'd like to think I could find my own path and be part of something unique. Find my own crew at the University of Oulu, where future pioneers are educated to build a more sustainable, intelligent and humane world. Oulu, always a good idea. Hello everyone. Welcome to join our live session on student health and well-being. My name is Ihbar Gül Mohtar and I'm a second year master's student in epidemiology and biomedical data science. I'm the host of this session today and we have three amazing guests here with me. We will be talking about student health and well-being in Oulu and our panelists will provide their insightful perspectives on this topic. So our dear audience, uh, you can send questions throughout the session via the link presimo.olu.fi slash ask. We will answer a couple of them at the end of our session. Now, shall we start with brief introductions? Mm. Would you I can start. Yeah. Um, hi, my name is Marianne. I am a first year master's student in the program from Education and Globalization. And I come from Chile. Welcome. And I'm Anna, and I'm one of the public health nurses at Utehoas, or the Finnish Student Health Service in Oulu. Welcome. And I'm Pauline, I'm one of the study psychologists here at the University of Oulu. Welcome. Um, uh, thank you for your introduction and thank you for being here today. So health and well-being are essential components of fulfilling life. When we are healthy and feeling good, we're better uh, equipped to navigate the challenges of daily life and enjoy our experiences to the fullest. So the topic is also quite um, close to me as I have been trying to make the most uh, of my study and life here. Uh, as we all know, pursuing a degree can be uh, challenging sometimes and it requires significant effort and um, <clears throat> dedication. Uh, but besides study, we also need to take good care of our health uh, and uh, our well-being, uh, both physically and mentally. So um, uh, one of the things that have helped me maintain a balance uh, between my academic responsibilities and my health is the role as a well-being tutor at the University of Oulu. So this is the program uh, which is under the Student Union OYY. Uh, there are uh, many activities uh, going on on a daily basis, uh, like they uh, range from uh, sport, art, even to uh, study skills sharing. So I have uh, participated and organized a lot of activities and uh, I also gained many skills uh, during those sessions and uh, gained friendship over there so um, it is a really good experience for me so um, uh, and I found that I become more productive in my study and uh, also uh, healthier at the same time so uh, I believe um, there are many more aspects that we can share about health and well-being in this session as well so uh, now I have a question to our study psychologist, Paulina. Um, could you tell us uh, more about study psychologist services? In what kind of situations can study students approach you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we offer special guidance for students uh, regarding uh, learning, uh, studying and well-being. So, for example, a reason why you can focus time is, for example, if you have problems with time management, stress-related stress issues, or motivation. That sounds good. And uh, do you have some tips for our students, like uh, how can they balance with their studies and our uh, other areas of life? Yeah, usually when we are stressed, we many times or often have thoughts like oh I cannot see to go to see my friends because I need to study for this exam or 
I need to keep studying or, or I will fail, I'm not good enough. And these stressful thoughts usually lead to behavior and situations when we kind of drop everything else from our life. So instead of going for your hobbies, you example, just stay home and, and study. And this just actually increase the stress. It's not recommended or even possible to study 24 hours at the day. <laughs> it, it's not like helpful and it just makes you feel really drained and causes example uh, difficulties with focusing. So one way to main this, maintain this balance is to pay attention to calendar. And there is this method called time boxing where you need a calendar and then you mark there to the different boxes your your uh, study related issues like your lessons and group works reading for exam but also your hobbies so you have like time for studying but also time for leisure time and you can example ask yourself are you spending the free time the way you like the way you want, does it bring you like joy? Are you doing things that actually makes you feel better? So uh, kind of thinking beforehand a little bit your your use of time and, and also marking the things that make you feel happy. So maybe it's easier to maintain this balance. Mm. Yeah, I, I strongly agree with what you said. Uh, and I, I think I... I'm also benefited from this, uh, um, like a calendar time boxing mm. technique. Uh, since the time I use it, I feel like my life becomes uh, more organized than before, and I can, uh, I don't have to worry or uh, feel anxious about mm. uh, what uh, I like. Anx anxious about I have so many tasks yeah. to do because my uh, time is all arranged so well. Yeah, so that's, um, yeah, that's like a very good tip. And by the way, I've heard that you also organize events and workshops for our international students to support their study well-being. Uh, could you tell us more about those? Yeah, we organize events and workshops. Uh, next semester, we will have, for example, workshop about time management and stress. And events usually includes also some nice activities like fat biking or uh, we learn together how to cope with the darkness that we have quite <laughs> much here in Oulu. Uh, and besides those, we have also Moodle courses that teach you example more about study skills and stress management. And that sounds good. So uh, students uh, can have many options to uh, make uh, their study and life much more balanced yeah. through these activities and courses and that's a, a really good thing to hear uh, thank you and i have uh, some questions to our representative from the student health services Anna. Uh, could you uh, please tell us about the student health care services like how can students get access to them um, so UTHS or the Finnish Student Health Service is one part of the healthcare system in Finland and it's directed for the students in the higher education system, so universities and universities of applied sciences. And um, our services are for like the bachelor students and master students so forth uh, who are, have been enrolled as present uh, during the academic semester and unfortunately this does exclude the exchange students and they get their health services elsewhere. But um, our responsibilities are as a healthcare provider to provide health and medical care services, promote the students ability to study and then also the well-being of the study environment and the student community. And we also work together with different uh, other health and well-being providers like student psychologists and teachers and so forth. And um, 
to use our services, like I said, you need to have been enrolled as, a, as present. You can't be an absent student and also use the services. And uh, you need to have paid the around 36 euro uh, service fee to Gela, which is the social security service. And this fee covers all the services that we provide. There are no other payments that you need to pay when you come and see a doctor, for example. And then a new requirement that we have starting from uh, this year, January, um, the students coming from uh, European nations need to also have and present a European health insurance card when they come to use our services. And a common question is how do you exa actually book an appointment for us? Yeah. Um, you book an appointment by calling our callback service, which is uh, open during weekdays at daytime, or you can use our online chat service to contact an employee there. I see. So, mm. uh, what services do the student get from this health center in terms of physical and mental well-being, like in more details? And how can a student access medical care in case of emergency? Mm -hmm. So, uh, we provide uh, general health, mental health and oral health services. So, professionals that you can see are uh, GPs or doctors public health nurses, physiotherapists, psychiatric nurses and psychologists, psychiatrists, um, dentists and oral hygienists. And uh, our services are on a general health level and unfortunately we don't uh, include any specialized medical care that's taken care of in the public health sector or at the hospital. And um, like I said previously, uh, we are open only during the weekdays between 8 a.m. 4 p.m. So any issues you have outside of that, you need to go and see your local health center, for example. So we can't provide any night time or evening time or weekend appointments or urgent or emergency medical care, unfortunately. So that's also a common question that we get, like what services you can come and see us. And we have a more inclusive list on our website that if you are maybe wondering, like, is this something I could contact Utehoas? Then you can go and see on our website and you can always call us if you have any questions. Thank you. That's very informative and uh, uh, this is like very helpful for students to to kind of uh, start their life and uh, try to fit in here so thank you for your uh, for your answers and I also have some other questions for to our uh, student ambassador Marian uh, what has been your experience as a Uniolu student so far in terms of well-being well, I think um, before coming here to Finland, you hear that it's one of the happiest countries in the world. And I think one of the factors when I read about that was that they balance very well um, work and life. And in this case, study and life, that was my expectation. Um, and I think it's it's it has been true for me at least. Um, I think that my study plan for my master's degree at least, um, it does consider a lot of free time, leisure time. Uh, I have been able to manage well enough the time that I spend in the university, in class, but also studying and having free time. Um, I've also been able to get a part-time job to help pay for expenses, so that has been very good. Um, and as a student here in the university, uh, as you also mentioned, there are a lot of opportunities, uh, the well-being tutors being one of them. I also personally took the membership from the UniMove, um, which is this platform for that has different types of sports where you can just um, sign up depending on your schedule. And I personally do Sumba every Monday with a friend. So you can meet new people there and it helps you work out and yeah, just it's a very fun time. Um, 
And people here in Finland really enjoy nature, which has also been my experience. It depends on the weather, of course. But in general, I would say throughout the year, you can always bike everywhere. Um, you can enjoy the sports, winter and summer sports. And going for walks, at least for me, is, is something that I really enjoy doing here. Yeah. That sounds great. Uh, yeah, I do agree that we, as a student here, we have a very balanced life. We don't have to be stressed uh about our um homework or exams like uh, you don't have to uh, study for 15 16 hours mm -hmm. so we mm. do have a lot of uh time to uh seek for those activities or like things like that and have fun at the same time that sounds really great so um and i have another question uh that is uh how can students find social support and connect with others who share similar interests or concerns mm. could you tell us yeah i think yeah. there are different channels um well when i got here you you really don't know anything of of these channels um and for me i think the gumis and the student tutors were a key uh factor and support to getting to know all of these other possibilities and um, there's also like the student well-being tutors they are introduced in, at the beginning on the orientation week um, I also know that in social media um, they usually have a lot of information about the different activities that are taking place at the university but also like in in Oulu in general um, I followed all the Instagram accounts and yeah I think there's also this uh, very big WhatsApp group with a lot of people from the university students and also workers um, and they always share hangouts and workshops or activities um, yeah that are very interesting and that's I would say the way that I I have gotten to know what is going on and what opportunities there are yeah yeah I do agree with that like uh, we can know a lot of uh, things happening via those social media mm. so yeah mm, it's good to follow the school account yeah so and what are some ways that students can get involved in promoting well-being on campus well, it depends, um, I would say, in a personal level um, with your peers is one way. Um, just uh, sharing information, telling them what opportunities, what activities are going on. Um, I'm sure if you can also take uh, part in being a well-being tutor, you also get involved in these different activities. And yeah, it depends. Um, like you said, there are some that can be sports, but you can also help with time management or other types of things that can help students um, as an ambassador too I would say um, helping support others and and new people that are arriving to the university I think yeah and true there are a lot a lot of things that we can try mm. and uh, I do agree that uh, like those different platforms um, like could give us more opportunities to develop like different skills yeah yeah that sounds really great and thank you for your tips uh, so I have one last question for everyone, uh, that is, uh, what else did you do to maintain um, your health and well-being in Oulu? And do you have any suggestions and tips for the new students? So, uh, um, Marianne... <laughs> Would you like yeah. to start? Yeah. Uh, well, like I said, I would suggest to the new students to check out the other platforms like UniMove, um, see if they want to participate as a well-being tutor or taking part in the activities that the well-being tutors organize. There is also this Cafe Lingua that I know I didn't personally go to, but a lot of my friends do, um, where they can yeah learn new languages like Finnish, but also other languages, um, and meet new people and share interests with others um, I would say yeah that's I would say a, a good tip to also stay posted and interested in what is going on in the social media like I said before yes that's great and Paulina would you like to share some tips for our uh, new students mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well I like myself <clears throat> like I think most of Finns <laughs> like to be a lot of the, in the nature and I think Oulu has really nice uh, biking and walking routes, example in the riverside. So that's something I uh, like to do myself. And then you can also find me swimming in, in 
Tuira Beach all year long. So that's that's one way also to <laughs> dive into the <laughs> Finnish weather. True. Mm. I have never tried this winter swim because I'm just afraid that I may get pneumonia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would try some sometime for sure. Yeah. Mm. So Anna, do you have some tips as well? Um well like we discussed like Paulina for example talked about the stress management and time management and that's also important for me to always try and take that time in the evening to relax and um, do fun things and wind down from the busy day and that's something that I'll always promote to students to try to remember that you don't always need to be super productive and it's okay to just sit down and lay down on a sofa and watch TV and eat good food and not feel guilty about that. Mm. And I also uh, enjoy going to nature and taking walks and having fresh air. And um, and that's something that I found that also helps you to sleep better, which it's is very important for everyone and especially the university students. Yeah, true. Speaking about nature, Olu is really beautiful, like, um, uh, be it in winter or summer, mm. like, you mm -hmm. can always enjoy, like, you don't have to go far away to, to see the nature because mm -hmm. you are uh, living inside of the nature, so uh, mm -hmm. that is really healing. And I also agree that you said, like, we don't have to be productive all the mm -hmm. time, like, to pursue, like, very high quality life. Sometimes we should just uh, wind down and just um, give ourselves a bit relaxing time to s sit down and um, maybe not doing anything or just pamper mm -hmm. yourself for a day or two and then yeah, start over, which is a really a good way to um, maintain health and well-being for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. So um, and. Thank you so much for your tips, for your uh, insightful perspectives. So I think um, this is our live session today. And uh, I think we, uh, we've had a very good discussion on the topic of um, health and well-being in uh, uh, Olu. And I hope uh, these tips would be helpful for you. <laughs> our audience, our new students, and um, we hope that you enjoy our session today. So uh, at the same time, uh, we all wish you good luck in your studies and life here in Oulu. So, um, and if you want to uh, know more information, uh, uh, you could follow us on um, Instagram, or a Facebook account, uh, it is also called Uniolu. So, um, and our, our uh, other social media channels are available and the links will be provided. So thanks for watching and we hope to see you in new semester.